Okay, we're here in Phoenix. Uh, got the uh, Bronco. Finally got the uh, Phytech system in. I know all the hoses are just kind of laying here. That's because I'm going to be pulling the engine to do the tranny and a couple other things, a new radiator. So I'm doing what I call a proof of concept. I want to make sure it works. Now, this is a heck of a test of this Phytech system. This car has not turned over and started in over 10 years. I've changed the oil. Uh, and I've broken one of my rules that I was taught by my dad, which was never mess with more than one system at a time. And what he meant was work on the ignition stuff, start it, run it, then work on spark plugs. You, you know, work on one thing at a time. Unfortunately, given the condition of the car, uh, we have changed spark plugs, spark plug wires, new ignition coil, got the Protonics Flamethrower 1, uh, did the module on the inside in addition to new gas tank, well heck, even a new battery. We're, we're all over the place on this thing. So uh, I do not have the ignition on. I'm just going to uh, crank it with the remote starter just to uh, get it turned over a couple of times, clear some stuff out. It definitely wants to try. You can see a little bit of uh, stuff uh, coming out the backside there. <laughs> and uh, I've got the e Phytech EFI on the outside. All right, so we're going to put this into ignition mode. Okay, you can hear the pump kick on. We're going for pressure. I have already done the uh, wet napkin test at all of the fittings, right? Put the napkin there, make sure you're not getting any gas uh, coming through. Everything's nice and dry. Don't want any fires. Still have a fire extinguisher sitting nearby just in case. So we are in good shape. We are in ignition mode and I have no idea how this is going to go since it's been 10 years. So let's fire it up. Holy cow. <laughs> oh man. Changing itself around, I guess it's learning, so brought itself down to a low idle. Let's turn on the dashboard. There we go. Unbelievable. Ten years starts the first try. That is amazing. Got a little smoke going on here. I don't know what fell on the coil, but that's uh, just burning off some garbage. Uh, so, amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna label this a complete success. Obviously have some tweaking and turning and uh, some old nasty stuff to burn off. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a steering column attached. You can see I removed my gears. So we're not going to be uh, driving this thing, just going to let it run. Uh, but this is nothing short of amazing. Uh, 10 years, never been turned over. That's awesome. So Okay, we're going to make this a quick hit. I wanted to let you know what I did to install the Ghost Street 400, a couple of things that are coming up, and I want to make it as quick as possible. So I'm going to give you my speedy salesman presentation. Uh, pulled an Edelbrock four-barrel carburetor off. Hated it, gave it away, didn't even try to salvage it. Couldn't stand it. Next thing, uh, fuel lines. Bought them off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the page. The fuel line seems like it's very good. It's steel braided on the inside, nylon on the outside. Not so wild about the fittings. I, they were leaking a little bit. I had to play with them quite a bit to get them to where they're at. I'm not sure I'm going to trust those fittings after a thousand miles going down the road. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, you know, have to rethink that. Uh, fuel filter is from Summit. It is the Phytech 100 uh, micron filter. I had bought a 40 micron off of Amazon, but once it arrived and I saw the size of the screen on the inside and the fact that I could see right through it, 
uh, told me I needed to spend the money and get the one from Summit. I also ordered an extra uh, carburetor or uh, uh, gasket for in here from them. Didn't need it. It wasn't uh, something uh, the Phytech comes with three different uh, gaskets, uh, and I had bought another kit. Uh, what else do you need to know? I have the thermostat for Phytech up front here in the stock position. I didn't want to lose my temperature gauge on the dash, so I have a, a thermostat housing that had a slot on it. Uh, it's an aluminum one. Uh, when I put the Edelbrock Performer on in the mid-90s with that god-awful carburetor, I'd also replace the cam and the lifters. Uh, one thing I do want to try with the Phytech is to go into the computer over there and change my cam setting because I don't, one is stock, four is racing. I'm not sure what my cam, I'm at a two right now. I'm going to try it at a three just to see what happens. Uh, I have the O2 sensor wired coming down between uh, the thermostat, uh, thermostat, the heater hoses. Uh, pardon me, got to roll the creeper out of the way. And I put the O2 sensor all the way down here. Uh, and it is, I, I have some uh, headers that are from, God, about at Jeff's Bronco Graveyard in the 90s, you know, when you got the paper catalog and called in and then they, you know, shipped it to me. Uh, I have it at about a 45 degree angle and then it just comes up uh, over the frame and then out by the heater. So that's how I put mine in and... Of course, uh, because I am not using the HEI distributor, I'm just uh, blue wire to the negative side of the coil, white wire to the positive, and then, of course, I have my battery lead. Uh, I, yeah, all these wires have to be permanently mounted somewhere, but I'm not going to do that till I do my next project. So what else did I do uh, for a car that sat for 12 years? New Champion spark plugs. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, the original stock ones that came with it. Uh, Excel uh, wires, uh, high temp uh, silicon. Put those in, bought those on Amazon. Uh, make sure you're getting the right one for your distributor, is all I have to say, because I have a box of HEI ones that I misordered. I put the Petronix module in with the new Petronix uh, coil. Uh, so that is it. Oh, the other thing I did was I replaced all the vacuum line with this uh, silicone stuff. Uh, found that on the web. I love this stuff. Have used it on other vehicles uh, since then, and it's doing well. You might say, what other vehicles? Well, you know, my brother has his 56 T-Bird. I have my 66 Mustang over here. My brother, other brother has his 94 Cobra. Uh, we do have the HHR SS outside, and yes, if you really want to see the 75 AMC Pacer that's parked outside, we'll tour you there one day. All right, so what is next? Well, you might have seen this. Uh, I got some seats out of a 2011 Mustang convertible. I love this coffee. It's leather and it kind of just fits in there almost perfect. Yes, I have to do some modifications. Uh, that'll be another video. What else do we have to do next is, uh, well, we've got the vintage air. Uh, we have buried underneath the pile here the 4R70W transmission. There's the cross member. Yep, we're going to put all that in. Got a new radiator, of course, because I have the original stock one. Uh, yes, I've already pulled the drive shaft, already pulled my uh, manual uh, three on the tree linkage. Why? Well, when I did the one inch body lift, uh, those uh, connection rods aren't long enough to work, so I'm going to have to pull the steering column anyways. I'm, I'm putting in an I did it one. We'll do a video on that uh, because I need to be able to shift on the column to select uh, my automatic transmission. So uh, that is the short-term plans. And to uh, John uh, at Nashville Bronco and to Matt at Matt's Garage, this is all your fault. Uh, I was content to let this sit on the side yard and do other things, but you guys inspired me uh, to do crazy stuff to a truck that's been sitting for 10 years, and I'm loving every minute of it. So this is awesome uh, that it's doing so well. If you have any comments, any questions, would love to hear it. Things I need help with is I've got the old 
crappy vacuum wipers. I don't like those. I would like to see what else is going on. Uh, my trim is, well, it's been, you know, it's Arizona. It's been sitting outside. We'll, we'll do all that. So I uh, would love to hear your comments. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Any feedback at all would be appreciated. And I will sign off and say thank you for watching this video. And I will try to keep them as coming as quickly as I can progress forward with projects. Thanks.